The third and final part of the Marketing for Financial Services assessment tasks is the group assessment item. As this culminates the semester, it will allow you to draw on all six sections of the course. It is designed to drop in just slightly after semester ends, given that we are a late in the week class running on Thursday and Friday of week 12, the decision was made to have the assignment come in the weekend following. We, after the weekend that follows our uh, last education event and last tutorial. The group project, because it will take the place of a final assessment task, you won't be getting feedback from it, you won't be seeing it, uh, the final grades for it, until after the uh, full marks for the subject have been awarded. So, this one has a couple of specific things that I want you to do in the assignment. So, I'm going to overview the task, but what I want you to be thinking about is that this group assignment links to the solo paper that you do. So you have some decisions to make in terms of how you work with others on the development of your individual assignment so that it works well for this group task. What you are asked to do is to pitch a product portfolio and that is the solo products that you create combining those together into a portfolio. You and your group mates bring together a portfolio of products that you pitch. You have a three minute video, you have a business canvas document, and you have about a thousand words to create your group assignment pitch. So three minute video, it's one part sales pitch, one part explanation. I want to know how do the products fit together now there are theories, there are frameworks, there are marketing, there's marketing language that you can use here and I'm going to expect you to do that because you're a financial services marketer. You have to use the marketing frameworks and you have to explain why is it this set of products and here you have a choice really of is it one audience and multiple products, multiple products, multiple audiences, or the same product targeted to the same block of audience. So there are ways and means. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. The video is going to consist of three minutes. Because it's a video, we're going to know. We will know immediately if you're over time, and we will penalise you if you are under time, and we will penalise you if you're over time. So be on time. You will, in this video, just simply need to address the uh, pitch and there are no other requirements. It's up to you to have a little creativity, how you want to handle it, how you want to do this. And basically, explain the product portfolio, explain the theory that you've used to hook it together, explain the audience, explain the products. To accompany that, I'm going to ask you to submit a business model canvas for your product portfolio and you will see here that there's a bunch of different elements involved and I'm going to expect you just to fill out a business model canvas. This is one business model canvas, there are many business model canvas out there. The maximum size that you can use is a PDF file of up to A3 in size because there are limits to how much data we want to read. A3 is your cap size for this and it's going to be a digital file submission. So fill in the canvas, fill in your business model canvas. Now some of you might be thinking, look, are there more justifications or explanations you want to make? Some things are hard to explain in video and easier to explain in writing. Some things for the business canvas could use justification and support. So you have up to a thousand words. You have a brief explanatory document that can assist the business canvas, that can provide details or references. Any reference list would count separately to the business canvas. 
But basically, this is to give you some words to support your business canvas. So not everything has to be fit on the one canvas. Now, a key thing that you need to understand here in the technicalities is your group sizes can fluctuate. Courtesy of the software, we are at uh, randomly allocated sizes of six for the group, but it can drop as low as three. You were randomly assigned to a group. It's up to you if you want to stay in that random assignment. You can use Wattle to find, to reallocate yourself, to move around between groups. The last element to this, though, that I want to explain is that this is an integrative assessment task. Your challenge here is to bring together the group members individual products and create a collaborative collective portfolio. Consequently, the grade for this task is not split across three different items in, it's not three 10 mark objects, it's one holistic grade. So you, if you want the HD, you have to do well across all of the elements. You can't just bet on one of your components being outstanding and that will cover you for the rest. So I'm looking for a holistic integrated approach across points are scored on how well everything works together and everything is integrated and how well that you have brought together the different products of your individual group and how you have shown as a team understanding of financial services marketing and the principles underpinning it. And as always for this task, if you need me, email, Twitter, or in the face-to-face -face meetings.